Hello, today in my video, I'm going to show you another tip on 2D machining. That's the how we can break uh, the corner and routing the corner. Okay, with this function in Mastercam, we can break the external corner of a park and we can routing internal corner of the park. Uh, to demonstrate it, I have park here. You can see this is a solid park that you can note it we have sharp edges here in the corner no chamfer no fillet and you can we have sharp edges and it can cut your hand and no one want wanted no one want this part so you can see the outside profile we have no fillet at the corner here here also we have uh, a pin, a fin here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A fins have no fillet. We also have sharp edges on the fin. You can see no air breaking. That's that's what we want to avoid. So how we can uh, break on edges on this part? For example, I have a sample part. Uh, we can create a curve on the edge. I can, I can do it like this. Um, create curve on on edge. For example, select like this. Oh, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Sorry. Uh, and we can do it like this. Create curve on on edges. For example, okay, and then a fill the chain. All right. Oh, what's happened? <laughs> for example, point five millimeter, one millimeter. Okay. And then we use the chain, this, this chain here to do the counter tool pad. But just imagine if we have a fin, how about if we have 100, 200, 1000 fin? So that takes a lot of time. You don't want to do it right. Okay, and we uh, master can provide us another um, way to do, to do the job. You can use this function to uh, automatically breaking outside corner and routing tool in the internal corner. This is how I go. Okay. Take a look on the park. We have sharp corner on the outside, and here you can see we have a fillet here. We can check the radius of the fillet. Check it. And you can see this a 5.5 millimeter radius. This radius is 5.5. So how about if I cut this outer profile with uh, 16 millimeter and mil? Okay, I will select. Uh, okay, I will delete it. I'm going to tool pad and select contour, and I'm going to select this chain. Okay. We input lead in and lead out. Okay. Sorry. Forty five. Okay. All right, this year. Oh, man. Tool into saw. We need to, to use another tool. This is the ten millimeter. I use. I will use the sixteen millimeter tool. Okay. I make it longer. 
All right. So this is the contour tool pad. Let's take a look from the top. I will turn on the wireframe mode. Yeah, you can see the tool will go around the corner and no with no air breaking. You can see the sharp corner is still still there and cannot be removed. So how we can remove this corner and you can take a look on this. We have a 5.5 radius here. But we cut it with a 60 millimeter tool. That means we have a 8 millimeter in radius. So you can see that a sharp corner here, internal sharp corner here, and that's not good for the tool. And I'm pretty sure the surface on at this corner will not be good. It's very bad, and it's not good for the tool. So we want a tool to to roll here. To make a roll here, so how we do it? We have two mission. The first mission, we have to break the corner outside the park to remove the sharp edges, and the second mission, we need to make the tool roll here in the internal graders here. Okay, so we can do it in the tool pad. Very simple. In the cut parameter. You can see we have two options. First, that's called internal corner routing radius, and the second is external corner break radius. This option allow you to roll the tool in internal corner, like in this area. Okay, and this option allow you to break to make a fillet here on the external corner of the park. For example, I want to break this edge with a one millimeter or two millimeter, one millimeter corner. Okay, check it again. And you can see, I will zoom it. You can see we have a break corner. The the sharp edge has been break with a one millimeter radius corner. Okay, and this internal corner, internal corner here is still not routing. We can use the internal corner routing radius here to route the corner. So I want to make a two millimeter routing to avoid tune to. Uh, yes, you can see this. You can see the tool now have um, a routing motion. Yes, we have a radius here. So this is the internal internal radius the tool will round with a value of two millimeter, and we also break outside corner with a one millimeter radius. Very very conventional. Okay, very very good, right? Okay, and we can do the same for the fin here on the top. We can make another tool pad contour. Let's look like here. Ding. Okay. Ding. Okay. Ping. 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 Uh, this part I taken from a uh, nuclear power plant, so I want to uh, someone to drop it it can make a nuclear explosion okay for the fins I can select a 5 millimeter tool all right and we do the same here we don't have any internal corner radius but I will keep the 1 millimeter fill it here all right e -e -e. see we can take a look from the top you can see the edge had all bracket. Yes, very powerful, right? All right. Now we can take a look. Setting up the stock. 
and we select this solid as a stock and we can see if uh, our park or our sharp edges has been removed or not okay and this is the okay simulation okay let's do the cut in 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 perfect right you can see we have break the corner and same for the fin here in oh sorry uh, the tool and the foot the flute laying of the tool is not enough and we change the tool a little bit <laughs> okay make it 12 okay now it's enough to cut long enough to cut e do it again all right The outside contour okay and the breaking edge in 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 so you can see all as have been break and been broken very powerful very simple right okay that's the tip for today see you next time goodbye for now Bing.